Hey, what's up? Welcome back to this new video. This one is paper 3-2. Uh, well, it is also 3-1 because they have the same questions for A-level math of 2011 for November. Now, with that being said, obviously, let's move on to the questions we have for you today. Now, question number one, using substitution of u equal to exponential x, or otherwise, solve this equation. Solving means finding the unknown, find the value of x in this equation. So one by one, we first have to use the substitution. So u is going to be exponential power x. Now here we have minus x. So here we have this. Now we should know this is simple as 1 over this one, if that makes sense. Therefore, therefore we can conclude that it's simply 1 over the value of u. Okay. Now let's replace back in our main equation one by one. So here we have u is going to be 1 plus 6 over u. Now, to cancel the u below the, I can multiply everyone by u. Because again, I don't like to work with uh, fractions. I can do that to cancel the value below. So that will become u squared. That will become u plus 6. 6 over u times u will be just 6. Now set everything to one side. You will have u squared minus u minus 6 equal to 0. Now here we have a quadratic equation. You can solve this by using factorization or you can use what? Your formula, right? Two ways of solving the same question. Now factorize. u squared is u times u. 6 is 6 times 1 or it is 2 times 3. So here I will use 2 times 3. Why? Because here we have minus 1. To get minus 1, I have to have minus 3 and plus 2. That will be 0. So u will be minus 2 and u will be the value of 3. Now the question is sometimes I get, which is um, which is um, kind of interesting, is like how do this become minus 2? For example, if I want to solve this question, I will, I will first have u plus 2 equate to, to 0. If I send this over here, obviously this will become minus 2. So that's how I get this value. Similarly, you also get this the same way. Now finally, we're not trying to find the value of u, we're trying to find the value of x, which is the unknown in the original equation. So replace back u by exponential x is equal to minus 2. Exponential x will be equal to the value of 3. Now for this one, uh, if you want to bring x, again, x is as a power right now, to bring this down, we we'll have to apply ln on both sides. Right, ln on both sides. Same over here, ln on both sides. In this case, it will not be Okay, because ln cannot take a negative value, so this one will be invalid. So we have to look at this one right now. So x could be become here because by the laws of logarithms, this is possible. For example, let's say we have ln of 2 power 2. I can bring this here. This is the same thing as 2 ln of 2. So similarly, I can bring this here. That will become x ln of e has to be ln of 3. Now this will be 1, we can check, right, ln of e is 1. Now how do I know this? Because what is ln? Ln is actually log to the base of e, now taking the value of e, so when these two match, have to be 1. So that's why you become 1, so x will have to be the value of ln of 3. But the question is asking you to provide your answer correct to 3 significant figures, so let's solve this value, so ln of 3 should be this value, 1.0986. So it is 1.0986. So 3SF should be 1.10. And this is your answer for question number one. Now let's move on to question number two. So here we have two parametric equations of a curve given to you by these two. Okay, good to know. Um, part one, we have to find dy by dx in terms of t. Simplifying your answer as far as possible. So one by one, how would you find dy by dx? So using your chain rule how, so dy by dx, we can break it down. On top we have dy, multiplied by something. On the base we have dx. So how are they connected? You can see x equal to something in t, y equal to something in t, so they have to be connected by dt and dt. So we have to find this thing, and this thing, and then multiply them to find dy by dx. That's the idea behind this question. One by one, x is this. 
So find dx by dt. That will be what? So 3 is 3, it is only a multiple. Differentiate 1 will be 0. This will become plus 2 sine t cos t. Right, simplify. That will be 6 sine t cos t. The next one, y, will be what? Differentiate dy by dt. First multiply by the power, should be 6 cos 2t multiplied by minus sine t. Because if you differentiate cos, it is minus sine. Simplify to become minus 6 sine t cos squared t. Now once you have those two values, put them back in your main equation. So that will be dy by dt, which is this one, minus 6 sine t cos squared t multiplied by, now here we have dt over dx. Here we have dx over dt. So to find this one, we have to flip this upside down, become 1 over 6 sine t cos t. This will go away. This will go away. And this will go away. So finally, you have minus cos of t as your answer for dy by dx in terms of t. And this is your question number two. Now let's move on to question number three. So here we have a polynomial. So this one is, is this equation. And we are calling this equation p of x. All right, good. It is given that p of x is divisible by this one, which means this is a factor of p of x. Right. Now what does it mean if something is a factor of something? The remainder will be zero when we divide by this. Now using that information, find the value of a, how? So let's use, uh, we can use long division, no problem. So if you have this one, this is our main equation, x power 4 plus 3x cubed plus ax plus 3. Now we want to divide by this one, which is x squared minus x plus 1. So step number 1, how to make x squared becomes x power 4, have to multiply by x squared. So take the whole thing, time this, you will have x power 4 minus x power 3 plus x squared. Okay, so this will cancel out. 3 minus minus become plus, so that will become 4. x cubed. But here something is missing, um, because here we have x, but we are missing the term in plus 0x squared. Now 0x squared minus 1 should be minus x squared. Here we have plus ax plus 3. Okay. So just this is a uh, again this is something I would recommend doing because I missed this value in the main equation. So whenever you rewrite this, we are missing a term here. Don't forget to write this because it will be helpful when you write long division. Next step, how would you make x squared become 4x cubed? Have to multiply by 4x, right? So you'll have this time this will become 4x cubed minus 4x squared plus 4x. This will go away. Now minus plus becomes 3x squared. This will become plus a minus 4x and plus 3. x will be outside actually. Anyways, now finally, we have to make this one become this one. So multiply by plus 3. So you will have 3x squared minus 3x plus 3. Now as you can see these two will cancel right here so now we only have this remaining so again we are supposed to get 0 y because we know it is divisible so in the end remainder have to be 0 no matter what. This is according to your question. So we can solve this equation so we have, we have a minus 4 minus minus become plus 3 going to be 0 so which means a have to be the value of of 1. Okay. This is how you find your value of a, 1. Now, part 2, when a has this value of 1, find the real roots of this equation. So here we have what? p of x is going to be equal to x power 4 plus 3x squared, cube, sorry, plus 0x squared, minus, so plus 1 actually, 1x and plus 3. Now we know we can factorize these as what? As 
this one, which is, this is one of the factors we have, and multiply by this one on top, which is, we just found out, is the other factor of this equation. So, we only care about the real roots. Let's see if this has real roots. Check, b square minus 4ac, that'll be 1, minus 4 times 1, times 1. That should be minus 3, so no, it doesn't have real roots. So we can just ignore this one for now. Look at this last one. Now, can we factorize? Yes. I can see this right away. That will be x times x. 3 is 3 times 1. To get plus 4, have to have plus and plus. So x will be the value of minus 3 and minus 1 for the real roots of this equation. And this is your question number 3. I hope the first half of the video was somewhat helpful. If you guys would love to access the full video, feel free to click on the Patreon link on the main page. Otherwise, you can go to the description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck and thank you for watching.